So like the way I started, I went to Office Depot, created my business cards, went to the warehouse district, started passing it out, and then I would get a contract with a doctor's office, whoever, you know, some little company, whatever, and I would do their network. So if you walk into something like that, you can say, okay, they're not going to grow that much. I don't need a, you know, 24 port switch. I can maybe do a 16 port switch, something to that effect. Never get a four port switch, please. Or an eight port switch or something ridiculous like that. No less than 16 ports or 12 ports. Don't get nothing less than that. Uh, and today, today's technology, if you run anything less than Cat6, you're killing yourself. So let me just set the, say this right now. Cat 5 e stop it already. Stop it, okay? Cat 5 e paralyzed it to the hands. That can go a, a gig as well. Yeah, for the first 200 feet, 250 feet. Then it can't go a gig anymore. You want to go a gig, then get the cable that's made for a gig, which is Cat 6. It's going to be thicker. It's going to have that separation, that spleen or spline or whatever they call that plastic thing in there that separates the, the pairs of wires so they don't have that crosstalk, okay? Buy the right material. So you have your cabling, right? Cat 6 that does 1,000 megabits per second, a gig per second for the 100 meters, all right? You have that so you don't have less crosstalk. The copper gauge is a lot thicker and there's more twist per wire. Okay, so it, all these things are going to help out more. And don't run mixed environments. Cat 6, Cat 5. What is that? I saw that in a nursing home in Miami, in my old stomping grounds near Miami Senior High School, okay, in the southwest area. I was like, I, I refuse to do that job. I was like, what in the world are you guys doing? What is this? Who, who did this? What is this? 